Bibliophiles of the internet, my name is Adriana, and today I'm here to share my reading plans for the upcoming round of the Queer Lit Readathon. If you're new here, the Queer Lit Readathon is a biannual reading event made specifically to celebrate Queer Lit. It was created by my dear friends Kathy and Rogan, and their guest hosts this round, I believe, are both Rebecca and Sarah from the Tea Hags. I love all of them so much, and their TBR videos will be down below, so definitely check them out. I believe this next round is going from May 31st to June 6th, and Rogan also usually makes a blog post with the Queer Lit bingo board and all the other details, which will also be included downstairs. So as far as my personal TBR, the first book I would definitely like to read is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. From what I understand, it's about a girl named April May who's wandering around New York when she stumbles across this strange statue and decides to film and upload a video about it, which ends up going viral overnight. So word about her video keeps spreading and more and more of these statues start popping up all over the city and all over the world, and as the first person to document their existence, April suddenly finds herself thrown into the national spotlight. This would cover so many challenges. I actually got a copy of this book when I was in Florida for BookNet Fest because when I was collabing with Kathy, she actually told me herself that the main character is bi as heck. So this could definitely cover host recommendation, rainbow cover, non-coming out, bi or pan protagonist, and backlist book. Next is a book I've been deliberately saving for this event, and it's been killing me to do so, but that would be Check, Please, Volume 2 by Ngozi Ukazu. It's a queer sports comic about Eric Biddle, former figure skating champion, semi-famous vlogger, and amateur baking enthusiast who is just starting college and decides to try out for the hockey team, which for him is a completely new experience. Then, of course, we have the broody yet attractive hockey captain Jack and a whole team of adorable weirdos, and it's just a delightful series. This this could possibly cover five star prediction, but definitely queer sports and maybe even queer friends. The last book that's for sure, for sure on my TBR is the audiobook of All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. This is an own voices queer memoir about George M. Johnson, a journalist and queer activist, and it's about his journey growing up and the formative experiences that helped him understand and challenge his sexual and gender identities in a way that's realistic and from what I've heard also joyous. I've had this one on my radar for a very long time and it definitely shot up on my TBR when Jesse from Bowties and Books read an early copy and just raved about it and now I'm hearing even more good things things from the queer and trans reviewers who I implicitly trust. This would cover the challenges for nonfiction and also possibly the free space, which I'm considering calling the unread arc of a book that's already been released. Space. Which just rolls off the tongue, don't you think? So those are my main choices for this next round. I like to set the bar low, and if I exceed my expectations, that's great. If I don't, that's great. But I definitely still have some other short queer books and other queer comics, like Heartstopper Volume 3, for instance, just burning a hole in my back pocket, so those are still definite possibilities. Anyways, that is my definite TBR for this next round of the Queer Lit Readathon. As always, if you're taking part yourself, I would love to know what you're planning to read as well, or if you're just reading queer stuff for Pride Month, I would still love to know your reading plans in the comments below. But that's everything I had for this TBR today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the flip side of the page.